Welcome to another All-22 Tuesday, a collaboration between USA Football and First Down Playbook. I'm Keith Grabowski of USA Football. Joining me is Zach Dunn of USA Football. And we're talking with Charlie Quinn, who's the CEO and founder, former NFL coach uh, for First Down Playbook. Charlie, great to have you here again. Hey, Keith. Hey, Zach. Great to be here. And uh, really excited about today. We've got uh, four plays from Wild Card uh, Weekend, and they certainly were wild. So we, uh, we'll have some fun looking at these four. We'll jump over to the NFC Wild Card here with the Vikings uh, coming up with a touchdown here. Uh, they are outnumbered on this particular blitz, but they get the job done. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot of rocket science involved with this one as far as after the ball is snapped. I mean, anybody that watched it saw you put a big dude on a smaller dude, throw it up, and the big dude caught it. Uh, but I, I do believe there's a, a, a lot of genius about it from a standpoint. If you're sitting there and you're looking at a third down and four, I believe it was, and you start looking at, okay, what, what are we going to do here? And, and, and I've been very critical of, you know, throwing the fade ball every time and all of that. But to me right here, this was – was well done. I mean, you sat there and they had the mismatch. I think the key things to look at, and we'll get to the video pretty quickly on this one, because like I said, it's not, it's not anything schematically special other than the right uh, guard did end up blocking two players for the Saints. But you sit there and look at, watch a snap on this, all coaches, uh, because it's not a clean snap. And uh, Cousins has to get that ball off his right hip and, and kind of shovels it up there, to be honest, to, to, for it to be so accurate. But you take a look at that, and like I said, take a look at how, once again, there ends up being a situation where a protection issue is the key to this uh, play. And if it had gone just a little bit differently, then it, it might have been a different story. It might have been 43 actually knocking the ball out before Cousins ever got it off. So let's take a look at the uh, play. The, one of the funny things I, I thought after, I don't, I don't know, Keith and Zach, did y'all hear the interview afterwards where they grabbed the tight end right afterwards and he was – so non-committal about uh, wh where the play was supposed to go. And I, I really wasn't sure what that was all about because uh, to me, this play was going here the whole way. I mean, that, that's, that's why they did it. Yeah, he seemed like, to, like he was protecting a secret, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> let's, let's take a look. As you look right here, you can see, I, I don't know whether Cousins just mishandles it or, you know, but I promise you, he doesn't get the threads right here. I mean, he's just, he's getting it and getting it off. Now, if you look from the end zone copy, everybody take a look at the Minnesota right guard. And I think what the Saints are doing here is they're taking 53 and 56 and they're telling them to go grab the guards, just like the nose is grabbing the center. And you're hoping 43s will come free, but probably would have been a better look at 53 would have kept coming down hard in the a gap because uh, the right guard from Minnesota kind of punt protects this and gets his left hand on 53 and his right hand on 43 just enough keep your eye on 43 and watch just how close he comes to getting his left hand uh, in the way of the throw I mean there once again game of inches quarterback getting it off probably doesn't have a threads about halfway shot puts it but guess what Vikings are, are going to play next week. Well, there's a lot in all of these plays that we've looked at this week and some things that you can't draw up on a diagram, but the diagram is always the starting point for this. And Charlie, you've put together a great resource for coaches. How can they get a look at and start to work with first down playbook? Yeah, if you're a coach and you're looking at starting your playbook and, and interested in starting with over 35,000 plays all drawn by NFL coaches where you don't have to start them from scratch, you want to go to firstdownplaybook.com to spell it out, F-I-R-S-T-D-O-W-N, playbook.com. And just want to remind everybody, we will not have a booth this year at AFCA, but uh, and the reason we're doing that is because we offer webinars every night of the week, Monday through Thursday. We find that more efficient uh, as far as how to get the coaches uh, in regards to uh, that, as far as comparing it to what we do at a, uh, at a convention booth. But we will be there. So if you see us, grab us and uh, We'll talk a little bit of ball.